Hello all. Welcome to Technotab. I am David, and I will be doing voiceover for Mr. Vikas Kumar. From the practical sessions, he will be using his own voice for making it more interacting. We are going to make a RESTful web services project with Spring Boot, and this project is designed from very basic level and at the end of this video tutorial you will be an expert in RESTful web services. So, I request you to hold on to it and subscribe this channel so that you won't lose the track. You can see on the screen what are the contents that we are going to cover in this tutorial. First, we will be covering the basics. Like HTTP methods, GET, POST, DELETE, EXCEPTION HANDLING, VALIDATION, HTTP RESPONSE STATUS. While going forward we will be advancing our knowledge by including versioning, we will learn how to use swagger, filtering, monitoring, content negotiation and internationalization. The technology stack that we are going to use in this project are features of Spring Boot JPA and for testing we will be using Postman. Language that we will be using is Java obviously. Don't worry if something is going above your head, as this is the first session, some of the terminologies will not be familiar to you. But that's the beauty of it. When we will do our practicals everything will be crystal clear. You can skip this session and move to practical sessions, as in this session we will only bore you with theories. You will not lose anything. First of all, we have to learn what is REST. REST stands for Representational State Transfer, which means transfer of the same state how it is being represented. REST is a style of software architecture for distributed hypermedia systems. Let's understand this with the diagram given here. Suppose you are using a Google Chrome browser and you are searching for a link. So, for that you are entering the URL in the address bar and that URL is basically called request. Your request goes to the server, and it looks for exact match of the URL that you are passed in address bar and send you the related response. This communication between the browser and the server happens with the help of HTTP that is, Hypertext Transfer Protocol Internally the request can be represented in many ways it can be a XML format or maybe a HTML format or JSON format. The most common format that we use in RESTful web services is JSON format and the response as well can be in the format specified by the requester. Like I said earlier, everything will be crystal clear in the practicals. So, in REST there is no restriction in the data exchange format, JSON is the most popular one. For transport only HTTP will be used and there is no standard service definition. Finally, let's look at the requirements. We have a simple social media application which has many users and each user is having multiple posts. The resources which we are going to expose are as shown here. In term of REST everything is considered as resource. When we say user resources, the user can be a table for any entity. So, let's consider this user as a table. The first thing which we are looking to do is to retrieve a list of all users, which means we will expose slash users and the method will be get. Next thing, we will create a user. The exposed resource will be slash users but this time it will be post request. Then we will retrieve one particular user by exposing slash user slash ID, we will provide the ID of the user which we want to retrieve, and the same thing we will do for delete user. One user can have multiple posts, so there is one to many relationships between the user and the post and we will see all these details going forward in the tutorial where we will connect our database. For now. We will be hard coding the user and letter we will be connecting the database to extract the resources. Next videos will be practical sessions, where we will be implementing whatever we have discussed in this video. Till then, bye bye, see you in the next video.